Hey guys, what's going on? It's Salvage here, and today we're going to be talking about some more Spider-Man PS4 stuff, and basically, a little wish list of a DLC that I want. Now, I know that Venom's not going to be in the base game. They've already confirmed that. They've already said that there's going to be no symbiotes in this base game. Now, the DLC, in my opinion, may be a little bit different. I think they can introduce characters that they haven't done before. And when they say no symbiotes, it also makes me think of a few things. Now, for the DLC, uh, there's a three. There's like three possibilities that can happen. One, they have the regular Venom, who's already established and has already been in this universe and is already here. You know, there's no symbiotes that attach on Spider-Man. There's no origin story that we really need. He's already in here. He's already a character. He's already Eddie Brock. He's, you know, he, he's Venom. He's Venom that everybody knows and loves. Um, kind of like how Electro is already like the way he is, Vulture, Rhino, Scorpion, and all these other characters that we already have are already established in this universe. The same thing can happen with Venom uh, in a DLC somehow, in a DLC story pack that they have, and just introduce him that way. Uh, now that seems like it's a less probable thing. I don't think that's necessarily possible uh, in my opinion. I think that if they're going to do Venom, they're going to do a full-on origin story. And that's where the second part comes in, an origin story for Venom in a DLC pack where Peter still works at his employment, you know, where he's still working. And that's where they find the Venom symbiote, where, of course, it's not really a symbiote. They don't really call it a symbiote. For, so therefore, there are no, quote, symbiotes in the game. It's a good workaround. I mean, <laughs> it's very easy to do. If we want to look at Arkham Knight again, Persona-wise, Arkham Knight's not a new character, but they still call him a new character. They can literally say there's no symbiotes in here and make up a brand new name for the symbiotes, therefore there's no quote symbiotes in the game. Again, it would be very easy to do, uh, and I think it would be really cool to also integrate Peter's work into the DLC a little bit if they don't do that in, you know, the regular DLC. If they don't do that in any other DLC pack, it would be kind of weird, but I guess if th these uh, story packs do take place after the game's events, then it would kind of just debunk that entire theory. Now my favorite one is Agent Venom. Now, although the symbiote kind of is involved in this in some way, shape, or form, you can completely eliminate the, the Venom symbiote component from Agent Venom and just have him be a military guy. Have him be Flash Thompson in the Agent Venom suit going after Spider-Man after he was hired by Norman Osborn to go after him. And perhaps, some way, shape, or form, uh, the employer of Peter Parker gives Agent Venom all of the necessary things that he needs, like legs, because in the comics, he loses his legs, like he doesn't have legs. So maybe in this universe, they give Agent, uh, uh, Peter's boss gives Agent Venom legs, and then Norman decides to say, hey, I'm gonna hire you to go kill Spider-Man, and then we can have that really cool moment. Like, I'm just saying here, and I know it's Arkham Knight, but it could be that Arkham Knight moment where it's like, who is this guy? Wait a minute, what's going on? It's Agent Venom. Well, most people would probably know it's Flash Thompson, but when the game reveals that, it would be a crazy moment. It would be super cool to not only introduce Peter Parker's past and also mention more of his high school uh, years, it would also be really cool to see a character that we really never see in media. I mean, Agent Venom is not a known character. I'm just saying that right now. The only people that know him are people who are massive Venom fans or are massive Spider-Man fans. And besides that, Agent Venom is really obscure. He's crazy. But I think it could work for this universe because Norman Osborn's not Green Goblin. Uh, Dr. Octavius, from what we know, isn't really Doc Ock yet. And if we're going to have Venom in here, why not just make him Agent Venom? Make him a military version of Venom. Bring him in here for the DLC and have Norman Osborn hire him like he hired Silver Sable to go after Peter Parker or Spider-Man. I just think that would be a really cool really really cool dlc and you have to of course fight this guy you have to make sure that you know what you're doing against this guy and they could have the same powers as in the comics they could basically i mean it, it, there's so much possibilities that you can do with age of venom besides just symbiote venom and the fact that they said there's no symbiotes in here it kind of makes me wonder it kind of makes me wonder like okay if there's no symbiotes in here then can we just have Agent Venom and just say that he doesn't have, you know, any symbiotes in his system and that he got his legs back from, of course, uh, Peter's boss? I think that would be cool. I don't know about you guys, but if that was a DLC, I'd be totally down for it. And of course, it could be that, again, that Arkham Knight mystery where you don't know who this guy is in the game, of course. They could be anybody. Maybe they could even switch and make him Eddie Brock. You never really know. It, again, once again, so many possibilities, so many 
choices that you can pull from from the lore of Venom and put into Agent Venom, or you could just keep Agent Venom the same as he always was. And maybe even Norman Osborn figures out who Peter Parker is and, you know, knows that he's Spider-Man. So when Flash Thompson goes after him, you know, he's taunting Peter. He's like, yeah, you know, we knew each other in high school. I used to bully you all the time or something like that. That would be a really cool story dynamic between the two. I would love to see that type of boss battle happen between the two. And I think between all of the characters that we haven't seen and all of the things that have been confirmed, this is something that I want to happen. I want this to, to be a thing. And if it doesn't happen, I'm not gonna be like overly depressed or uh, mad or anything. I'm pretty sure that they're saving like some sort of version of Venom for the second game. But again, I would still want to see Agent Venom to be put into this game and into the DLC uh, instead of like the base game or even if they want to do it in the base game it still you know goes uh, with the no symbiote thing if they want to put him in a base game you know agent venom just shows up he's not really venom he's not really a symbiote so it can work very well uh, but overall i just think that that's something that we need something that we all want i think we all want some type of venom uh, in this game, especially when it's two months, or actually it's a full month before the actual movie comes out. So it would be very weird to not really promote Venom at all whatsoever in this game, or at least have some sort of Venom thing for this game. Uh, I just think that there's so many possibilities that Insomniac can work with, and hopefully they take into consideration this theory and the wants and needs of the fans of Venom uh, that really want to see him in this game in one way, shape, or form. And if Agent Venom's the second best choice that they can do, I'm completely okay with that. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this. I'm going to be making a crap ton of videos in the future. We're only 20 or 19 days away from this game coming out. It's so close. It's so close. Get hyped. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.